All right, guys, we're back again on the 135i. Uh, today we are actually, hold on. Today we're actually switching and replacing the Guibo. And what's the main problem right now? The center support bearing. Yeah, this was uh, pretty bad. It's uh, making noise in first gear. Something's definitely rubbing under the car. Um, so to do this, you'll need uh, gaskets you have to remove the mid pipe this and then this is optional but you might as well do it since you're here so i should remove this mid pipe pretty easy um as you can see and then you have to remove that brace you see in the back right there the brace uh, other than that uh next thing is just to remove this heat shield right here because it's behind the heat shields you know so it's pretty basic um four bolts over there the center bracket right here, two bolts in the back, and this comes out. So now all we have to do is remove that heat shield, which I'll show you guys right now. Okay, um, so we remove the heat shield right there. As you can see it goes with a bunch of these eight millimeter like washer nuts, some bolts. Um, so we have two problems. Good thing I ordered both of them because <clears throat> as you can see, that does not look too good it's a bit worn uh, these usually wear out a little bit but the main oops the main problem we're having is this right here in first gear it sounds like it's rubbing up against something like the heat shield or something because in fact this thing is actually busted look at that it is not supposed to move like that do it one more time as you can see that thing is destroyed. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. But, that thing right there is destroyed. It's not supposed to be. Okay. Like, literally ripped. And that's moving around way too much. Um, so, like I said, we're going to place that because that's the main problem. But, uh, since we're already here, we're going to be replacing that too because we have to remove it either way. And yeah, so it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, you usually need a special tool to remove this in the back, but you can basically replace this without having to loosen up the back. Um, I believe this one just slides out. There's different types. There's some with a bolt right here, bolt right here somewhere. Um, but I believe this one should just slide. This one should just slide out. All right, so update right here we took it off hey guys future me talking uh, make sure to mark your drive shaft as you can see i did not mark mine so i had a big issue later on in the video but i'll explain to you guys later on in the video what exactly you have to mark but make sure to mark your drive shaft before you take it off now to take it off you're gonna need an 18 millimeter uh, socket with swivel and a 18 millimeter wrench to hold the nut in the back so how it works is there's a nut in the back right here and you use the obviously the socket right here to remove the bolt that goes through here the drive shaft and this pretty easy once you take that off uh, or hang once it starts hanging um this right here just goes slide it in like this so what you do before that is you peel this boot back you peel it back and you'll hear like some air coming out because it's like sealed or something and then you just pull it out or maybe give it a little few taps right here and it's just come right off now this is a 135i manual um so it does have the rear special nut thing which i don't have the tool for um and then some of them also have like a bolt right here like in the back so then it'll come out or something so luckily i can do it while on the car this will just uh hammer out i'm guessing as you can see how bad it is it's literally ripped up gone um but so this is my current situation yours might be a lot different so do your research um so mine i can actually do it on the car um some people have it, actually have it easier on the rear because they can actually remove it with a few bolts and it comes right off um so i'm just gonna basically hammer this out now and hopefully uh that's gonna be it so i already have the new one ready 
and we're gonna just uh, take it out. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick little voiceover right here. Um, this is the tool that I bought. It was from Harbor Freight. It's a Polar set. It was 50 bucks. Pretty cheap, I guess you could say. Uh, you might be able to loan it out from like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or something. But you will need the tool to pull it out. I tried using a slide hammer, um, hitting it out with the hammer, and it just didn't work. This is probably like the easiest way to do it so you don't damage anything and probably the correct way to do it. So as you can see, I hooked up the puller to it. It's pretty basic to use. You just hook up on the back side of the bearing. You hook up the two extensions and you put the little screw on the side so it actually pulls and it comes right out pretty easy. I would highly recommend that tool. Really liked it. it came out in like 10 minutes. And then the next thing you, you want is like some sort of a pipe that can reach through the drive shaft because although you could kind of put it in evenly by slightly tapping each side of it around, um, the pipe just makes it a lot better and that way it goes in smooth and you have no issues like when i did it with the pipe it went in smoothly with a few taps it was bottomed out and all the way to the back which it's supposed to be and the center support bearing does have a certain way it does go in so it goes with the lip going towards the transmission basically as you can see in the video but yeah that was just a quick little voiceover just to give a little bit more detail about that all right guys so um Everything is now back on, as you can see. Uh, the most challenging part really is the center support bearing. Everything else just goes back. Uh, everything else just goes back how it went. One thing thing I did forget to say is mark your drive shafts, each half. So your left side and your right side, I guess. Put like a little line right here and right here, because I forgot how I forgot to do that, and I kind of eyeballed it with the video I took with the weights so if anything it might come out and balance a little bit but that's okay I think I lined them up pretty good um, but yeah just put the bolts back on I did put the new um, Weibo thing whatever it's called that's pretty easy to put on um, you'll see one of the instructions that says uh, wherever the arrow is pointing as you can see this arrow pointing this way uh, that the arrow goes to this actual drive shaft and the other part goes to the um actual transmission so yeah, that's pretty much it hopefully that takes care of my vibration problem as you can see now no movement brand new um so yeah it's pretty late now um but i ran into the issue of, of the whole balancing thing so make sure to mark here and I hear or else you will have to uh, you will have maybe like a vibration problem that's why it took so long is because I was looking at the videos and trying to match up the weights that I saw in the video and try to get them as close as possible but uh, everything else is on so as you can see I didn't need to remove it from back there so you don't need that special tool but you will be needing the bearing puller and a big pipe to put that on but other than that everything else is pretty easy you take off the exhaust like usual. Um, I left the heat shield off just because in case this does start vibrating. But like I said, you guys should um, be watching the video right now and be marking this so you don't have to struggle like me. Um, but once I make sure everything is okay, I'll put the heat shield back on just because I'm pretty sure these pipes get pretty hot and might um, shorten the life of this rubber piece. But it won't hurt to keep uh, keep it off for a day or two, I think. So, yeah. So, put the exhaust back on. Plate back on. Um, tighten everything down. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. That's how you replace this. And your center support bearing. It's a pretty, pretty basic job. Just need a few special tools. But like I said, make sure to mark. I did mark it right here. But the most important part is when you split it. So, make sure to mark this half and this half. This one is, and it doesn't really matter, but uh, you can mark it from the transmission to this. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys learned something and see ya.